Hi, I'm Phil, I'm the founder and CEO of Rich Commerce, and today I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of one of our uh, amazing features to streamline your return process. If you've got an e-commerce store and you're using our returns management application, Rich Returns, uh, it's about the prepaid shipping labels that you can provide to your customers, which on the one side gives you as a merchant, uh, saves you a ton of time um, when handling returns, and on the other side, it gives you a great post-purchase experience to your customers. So this is our rich uh, commerce, rich returns, um, return dashboard that you have as a merchant. Um, this is the returns that are currently, um, let's say for example, pending. And let's go to our return settings and one feature specifically. This is in the return methods section. We want to provide prepaid return labels, which means, as you know, from like Amazon or Zalando or Zappos, like the huge uh, retailers online, um, they usually provide you as a customer. If you buy at them with them, they provide you some sort of label that is either in the package or that you can print out and then just put in the package and return your purchase. If there's something wrong with it or you purchase too many products, one was too small, too large. And you can do the same thing with Rich Returns, which I think is a great benefit for your customers. So let's hit configure to set this up. And we're currently using a service called Shippo. Um, Shippo is one of the largest, or I think probably the largest um, e-commerce, I'm gonna go direct to the website over here, uh, provider of uh, shipping labels. And let me tell you why this is great. So I've been an e-commerce merchant for a long time. I've uh, scaled huge score stores in the, in the fitness space. And the problem if you're a small, a store in the beginning, even if you're a medium-sized store or store, a store, you don't really produce the kind of volume to negotiate cheap rates with the carriers. Just as an example, USPS here in Europe, it's more common uh, with DHL or Deutsche Post. Um, so, uh, what you want to do is use a service like Shippo because Shippo combines all the volume from the merchants they have, and they have like literally millions then they can negotiate really great rates. And especially if you're starting out or uh, you've already negotiated rates, you can also use them with Shippo and just put them into your account. It makes it super easy to track those shipments to provide the customers with a PDF to your label. Um, it's a really great service. It's free to sign up, super cheap after that. And all the charges that are produced from um, the return labels that your customers create are also charged to this Shippo account, which is really convenient. So what you're going to do is you sign up. I already signed up. So you're just going to go to the Shippo dashboard. And I created a lot of test shipments, um, obviously, for our returns application. You can see it here, Philip Steve, blah, blah, blah. Um, so let's head to settings. Because the first point that we're asking you to set this up is the so-called API key. Um, the API key is um, essentially just like a key to a door where um, you allow us to use Shippo to generate those labels. You can just go to API, API states for, states for uh, application programmable interface, which is essentially, I always call it like a phone number or something. If you call this phone number, you can get some certain information and that's pretty much what an API is, right? It's communication based on just um, on just te on just text and information. So we have two different kind of tokens here. Uh, we have a live token. A token is just a a text, a very weird long text, and we have a test token. Live, as the, as the name says, means that if you use this token, you will be built for the labels you generate, which is exactly what you want when you. Um, put this live in front of your customers. But in the beginning, if you want to just test the labels, you can literally create hundreds of thousands of labels and you will not be charged as they can logically not be used in uh, for real shipments. So I've already used a couple of tokens. Let's just say, okay, I want to remove the tokens in this case. And what you want to do is click on generate. You're just going to copy paste it and just pretend that I don't have anything here. Let's just copy paste it and that's it. You're already connected to Shippo. You can generate those um, 
labels at a great rate um, and you're done. Let's uh, next select a carrier. At this point, when you watch the video, we just have USPS in here, which is pretty common in the US. It's not common, um, in, for example, European or Asian countries. But um, Shippo allows us to integrate, I think, up to 55 different carriers from the US, from Europe, from uh, Asia. So if you watch this video, please make sure and check the list of what kind of services we've integrated at that point, which I think is a lot more because it's one of the most requested features to have more carriers. So we will put a lot of effort into, well, adding more carriers, right? So let's for now just check USPS and uh, you can now then check the service level, which is depending on the carrier. Um, here are the ones that USPS provides, for example, Priority Mail, which is the cheapest ones. Let's just go with this. And then you can uh, input your default package dimension. So which is the most commonly used package that you would send to a customer? So for me, as I've been running uh, the large scale fitness stores in the past, we've usually used a packaging, um, obviously based on centimeters because I'm here in Munich in Europe um, and we use the metrical system. So our packages were usually um, 35 long. They were 30 centimeters wide and they were roughly 15 centimeters high and they had an empty package weight so just a package alone of roughly 200 grams so um, what is happening with the 200 grams well you've got an empty package and then for example let's say a customer orders 10 products and wants to return three three t-shirts each 300 grams so it's 200 plus 300 plus 300 plus 300 we're at 1.1 kilogram in that case and the shipping label would then be accordingly created with 1.1 kilograms, logically. So essentially that's it. So I think you can set this up in like a minute or something. Just select Shippo, input your API key. As you can see, this is a test key. You have to exchange this if you want to use it in the live environment for your customers, right? So after you've tested, go to Shippo and then click on generate live token, right? Click on it and then copy the live token, which I'm not gonna do for now because I don't wanna pay for thousands of labels, right? Uh, select your carrier, select the service that you wanted from the carrier. It's also called the service level. Input the dimensions and then just hit save. And that's it. So if you've not seen the video um, from how it looks in a customer's, from a customer standpoint, let's let me just give you a quick walkthrough. Um, so this is a test order that I can do in my store. Uh, it's got my email address on it, so if you've got any questions, you can always reach me under that address. Let's just click start. And let's just say, uh, well, um, medium and small, they were both yeah, was too small, for example. I like more the XR, so I'm going to keep this one. All right, um, I want to just store credit, which is great for me as a merchant because, well, I don't have to really issue real money. Um, and then let me get that prepaid return label that we just set up. I just click submit and then we already have that label created, which is super convenient. So it just sets congrats, send your items back to us and you're finished. And then you can download the label. It literally gives the customer the, the, the link to your PDF, um, which the customer can, can then print out. Obviously it says here a uh, sample because we used the test token. Um, that's super convenient. You can also um, use the track link after a couple of hours. Obviously, as this is a test order, it's have already been delivered, you can see. Um, but the same thing would apply if you would use a live label. This is as a USPS example, but it also works for any other carrier that we uh, support. So yeah, I think that's about it. It's super convenient for you as a merchant. You can automate the entire process and save on that time, put that time into building your business, building your store, scaling your store, and on the other side, provide a exceptional post-purchase experience for your customers. All right, see you next video, bye.